Well, one of the things that I think the wrestling world continues to talk about is an event that, frankly, we never thought that uh, we would see happen, and that was when Jerry the King Lawler ended up losing his hair in a hair match with Austin Idol and a prominent role played by Wildfire Tommy Rich. Let's recap that incident for you. Lawler with the cover, but where's the referee? He's hurt. First of all, I'd like to say it feels real good to be back here on television again. The King is back. I want to tell you that right now. And I'm sure most of you probably would rather me be in the ring here today, wrestling here in the studio. And personally, I would too. But when I heard that Tommy Rich was going to be here live in the studio today, I thought, well, things could get out of hand. You know, these television cameras cost several hundred thousand dollars, and this studio would cost me a fortune if it were to get torn to pieces. So I said, King, you better not show up. You better just send an interview. So that's what I'm doing, because I'm going to save what I got in store for Tommy Rich until I get him face-to-face -face in the ring. Now, let me just say a few words about uh, my little appearance here today. I'm sure Tommy Rich, Austin Idol, Paul Dangerly are surprised that I'd show my face here on television. I guess they thought if I got my head shaved that I'd be ashamed to show my face, that I'd be out here maybe with a mask on or with a hat or cap or something like that. But you see, Tommy Rich, Austin Idol, Paul Dangerly, I'm not ashamed to show my face. Because I know, and all the wrestling fans know, that, Paul, that uh, Austin Idol wasn't man enough to shave my head by himself. It took Paul Dangerly, and it took you, Tommy Rich, hiding up under the ring to come out to get the job done. And that's why I'm not ashamed. That's why every morning when I get up and I look at this head in a mirror, all it does is make me angry. All it does is serve as a reminder. And I want to tell you something, Tommy Rich. All that anger is going to come out when I get face-to-face -face with you in the ring. Now, let me just say this. You know, while I was off, I had plenty of time to think, and I had to be around town a little bit. And one day, I took my car, I took a little drive to the store, I went inside. When I came out, this note was under my windshield wiper. It's from a young lady by the name of Gwen Ivey. And it reads like this. Dear Jerry... I realize you don't know me, but I've watched you ever since day one. You're beginning. Every Saturday I tuned in to watch you wrestle. Now, I didn't want to stop you and bother you with a lot of questions. But you see, Jerry, everything that's been happening to you lately, you used to do to everybody else. You used to do everything dirty that you could think of. Everybody loved to hate you because you were the best at being dirty. Remember when you posed as an old lady, won Jerry Jarrett's autograph? Now that was dirty. You'd use fire, chains, sticks, etc. People loved it. Now in order to get back and stay like you were then, you've got to start thinking that way again. You've started to get weak, Jerry. Austin Idol and Tommy Rich know that. No one could have done the old king like they've done to you. They would be too afraid. So wake up, Jerry Lawler. Now, Gwen, I want to thank you for this letter. Because it has done that. 
I want you to know Gwen, and I want all the wrestling fans to know, and most importantly, I want Austin Idol and Paul Dangerly and Tommy Rich to know that the old king is awake. Now, Tommy Rich, I made myself a little list, and your name just happens to be at the top of it. And I'm going to take care of them. Paul Dangerly, Austin Idol, Tommy Rich, one by one. And I understand, Austin Idol, that you got a title match with Bill Dundee, the superstar who said he's so upset that he wasn't the man that shaved my head. Well, let me tell you something, Austin Idol. You're on my list. And another thing on my list is getting that southern belt back around my waist. And I really don't care who has it. If it happens to be on Dundee, like I said, I'll just add another name to that list. So Tommy Rich, Idol, Paul Dangerly, I want you to know this. The old king has forgotten more dirty tricks than either of you punks will ever know. So when I get in that ring with you, Tommy Rich, I promise you this. And I promise all the old, the old king fans that I'm awake. I'm back. And Tommy Rich, you don't have a whole lot of time left. So you better be looking over your shoulder, punk. Because sometime when you least expect it, somebody's going to step up to you. And it's going to be the old king. So you better be ready. He's got to say here, I'll tell you, you better be listening to it. Isn't you? Tommy Wilde. No, I've just got no place to go. And I thought I'd stop in and see you, Lance. You know, do while. you a favor, brother. Mm -hmm. You know, it's been a long time since I've been to Memphis, Tennessee, right here on TV. I wanted all the people to get a chance to look at Tommy Rich. Got the long, pretty hand looking real good today. Looking real good. A lot of pretty ladies out here. Oh, look. Hear that? Where is Jerry Lawler? Where is the king, man? I mean, that is the big question. You know, first we heard him, he was gone. Told Jerry Lawler, told him he was going to get his hair cut. Told him I was going to be the man to do it. Jerry Lawler, the man's in town. I'm back and I'm back to stay. Jerry Lawler, you're past tense, your history. Sit back. You listen to the crowd, man. When they holler, they holler for Austin Idol. They holler for Tommy Rich. Go, Tommy, go. Go, Austin, go. The king is through, baby. The king is through. Memphis, Tennessee don't need you no more, man. Don't you understand, Jerry Lawler? You told me that yourself, Lance. You told me you thought Lawler was washed Oh, up. come on, Tommy. Now, hey, don't call me no liar, man. Now, hey, well, what did you say? He said, well, you, that basically that's what you meant, though, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, okay, you said yeah. See there? Okay, another thing. You know, like I said, Jerry the King Lawler, history, would cut his hair now. He don't even have the guts to show up here at TV. I mean, he's talking about, you know, he's talking about he could have put a mask on. He could have this, that, and the other. Well, why didn't he do it? He does not have the guts, Lance, to come down here and see Tommy. He Rich. was full face on camera. He didn't do shame enough. He yeah. didn't want to do it. Take yeah. some damage. He talked for about camera. 10 minutes sitting at home. Oh, didn't have okay. the guts okay. to come Tommy, see you. you got to get in the ring. Oh, what a pleasure to have Tommy Wildfire Rich. Uh, okay. Tommy going in a, against a youngster from Minneapolis. Dave. That's John Paul out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, going against Wildfire Tommy Rich. What is this at ringside? Oh, Tommy Rich being pounded by the king. He was just talking about that lawyer in a dress. Backdrops, Tommy. Rich on the run. Lawler. Lawler in a dress came up to ringside as if to ask Tommy for his autograph. And pow! He got him. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Well, I guess it's going to have to be a disqualification on John, John Paul oh. with the interference in there. I don't think you'll mind too Did much. Did you see it? Yeah. <laughs> back again. The Ooh. king. We're going to be back in just a moment.